hands on with an impressive first two hours. Let's get it. Let's see. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is about. Let's go. Alright, man. Damn! The list of impressive looking Souls like games on the horizon is long, with games like Phantom Blade Zero, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, and okay. Wuchong Fallen Feathers all having solid showings this summer event season. Okay, but we there's don't care about that game. something extra special about Black Myth Wukong. Uh huh, that's exactly it's the, the game gorgeous. we're talking about right now. The animations are incredibly fluid, it's steeped in rich Chinese culture, and there's just something immensely satisfying about playing as a monkey king, beating up okay. all sorts of mythical creatures with a giant extendable staff. Okay. While this is I like the first idea. time IGN has gone hands on with the game, it is my own personal first time with it, and after two hours of playtime with the opening chapter, I somehow walked away even more excited for its August release. I just did. Yeah, I did. Black Myth Wukong first two hours hands on gameplay. Let's see this. Let's see what this is about. IGN China has already mm. done an extensive preview on what Wukong Bro, what is like that? Game... Is that a fucking rock monster? Build with many techniques, stances, and transformations already unlocked. Interesting. Which is great because my two hours covered pretty much the very start of the game. The first thing that I noticed as I started well, I even... was how fluid and it's fast like giant off of control. No, no, it's seriously, it does. It was like small though. Methodical combat. But Wukong feels exceptionally quick and agile. From the beginning, Bro, I like how he's quick and agile. I like that actually. Wukong can twirl his staff to block projectiles, but as far as melee attacks go, everything must be dodged. Hold on, wait up. End, there's a bayonet everything must be dodged. Where you can dodge up to three times very quickly. Hold on, hold on. Bro's combo is looking kind of tough. Every time to try and curb people from just mindlessly mashing the dodge button. But Perfect wait. Time dodges will reward you with extra focus. Oh, oh yeah. As as build, you get a focus point oh, pretty that much. You chain a strong attack into your light combo strength. Yeah, no, I've not played a game like this in so long. Focus points can also be spent on different types of special moves that you unlock in the skill tree. Seriously? We'll get to a bit later. Wukong also has access to a number of spells that consume his yeah. mana. I only really got to play Doesn't he have like a duplication spell like where he can duplicate imagine, himself and like make himself multiply? Tracks and allows you to sneak in a few hits before the spell's effect wears off. I think he's going to get to that. And especially oh. That Grizzly barely, that barely tough. tough. And sometimes they were able to shrug it off entirely. Whatever that is. Even at just an early stage, combat was a fun uh. opportunities to avoid what enemy the? attacks and find openings. What that Keeping is. I on my focus meter so that I can use a damaging heavy attack. Uh -uh. Chance, while also managing my mana. And English or English. My English, my boy. Eventually, I got my first transformation, which turns Wukong into an absolute beast. Hmm. Much stronger attacks and a hugely damaging super attack that he can use out of a dodge if he manages to build up a focus point. Okay. One of his moves in this transformation is a lightning fast dash attack that made me feel like I had basically turned into the boss that I got the transformation from. Later oh, on, shoot. I added another tool to my repertoire, the tower stance, which swapped out my chargeable overhead strong attack for the ability to stand on my staff and avoid damage on the ground as long as my stamina held out. Oh. If I managed to stay on the staff That's long enough actually to useful. Charge, I could spend it to leap off the staff, flip it around, and come crashing down with the powerful Damn. Incredibly cool. Damn, he cold. He knocked out cold. With my general combat abilities could all be upgraded through a level up system that works a lot like Sekiro's. As you defeat oh. enemies, you'll gain will, which builds okay. up the bar at the top right of the screen. When the bar is full, you gain a spark. Which can be used to purchase upgrades from one of your various skill trees. Okay. Once you fill the bar and bank a point, you can't lose it. You can even add that point wherever oh, you say want, less. not just at a shrine, which serves as Wukong's version of a bonfire like checkpoint. However, if you Bet. die before you manage to fill the bar, a portion of that experience will be lost in typical Souls like fashion. Don't let that trick you into thinking that Wukong is an easy game, Wait, huh? because it certainly is not. Enemies are aggressive, bosses are relentless, and even more so in your second phases. And you only have a scant few restorative Good. potions to keep yourself alive. I also managed to find a secret boss room behind a waterfall that took me to a dragon boss that absolutely wrecked me. Fortunately, you can teleport from shrine to shrine, so you can come back to him much later down the road once you've upgraded your gear and add some more points into your skill trees. And speaking of gear, I didn't manage to find all that much, but I did find enough to at least know that there are sets of armor that grant extra bonuses for wearing multiple pieces of gear from that set. The levels themselves were fairly linear with a couple of branching points that led to some sort of treasure or item. What item. is going on? What the? the show, though, were the boss this is crazy. Even in just nah, bro. Hours, this game actually looks lucky cold. From a speedy wolf boss that I snagged my first transformation from, to a mule kicking frog. Wait a minute. Loads, to an extremely difficult two phase battle against a snake man. 
Bro, that is not no fucking snake, dude. That was a frog. Even in just two hours of playtime, I felt like I got to experience a lot of combat progression and am excited to see how things will continue to 